Alright, I want to give my bit on solid state drives, the trim command. Now, this has come about because OS X Lion is going to employ this trim command. I want to note at the same time that Windows 7 already has the trim command, but there are stipulations in terms of if the actual BIOS it's running on does support it. So what, are, so what is all this trim stuff about with solid state drives? While solid state drives are very fast, they have great performance, of course we can all go and see the conventional hard drives, random access, random writes, and this and that, that solid states perform very well. However, also many articles, videos, complaints, solid states start to lose their performance, this and that, what's going on, and while I could make this video longer, I want to keep it on the trim because trim is one aspect in helping maintain those great speeds you get within solid state drives. Trim essentially was arrived at by the nature of the way NAND memory works. Let's say you have an 8K cell and it's divided into two 4K cells. Now, let's say that this cell here has been marked for deletion. Now, just like any other kind of storage, NAND memory in the controller within your SSD drive tries to make locations as easy as possible for retrieval. And sometimes it has its own really unique way of managing where data is and if that controller fails sometimes it's extremely, extremely difficult or close to impossible to decode how the controller was arranging the locations within the NAND memory. So, unlike conventional memory, NAND memory basically, if we want to write to this block, the controller has to come, mark the top block, mark the second block, and then it's going to mark now, which was marked as deleted, as clean NAND, and then put back the old marker, which is still in use. As, as a location. So that has a considerable amount of overhead that can go on. and it's, You it really don't want that kind of I.O. pressure on the system. So the trim, the trim command which then does this marking and saying all these locations here have been marked for deletion or we need to move these cells that, and change the markers from here to there, what have you, is done on let's say clicking the trash can, removing the files out of your trash can or the recycle bin if you're in Windows, or any other type of delete function that could that is most of the time user driven would execute this trim command and try to, because the action in itself it would do as much as possible in trying to avoid IO pressure on the system. It is a great way to try to handle some of the shortcomings of NAND memory. After all, I kind of make a parallel of NAND memory as in the controller is ideally able to hit every location at the same speed, but whether the actual, once it's arrival at the cell, depending on how the cell is and what needs to be done with the cells, becomes a latency part and kind of hindering the overall performance. Bandwidth versus latency is the parallel I'm trying to make in that we get to the location but once we're at the location what's what's next and the latency into return to get the cells organized and proper reads and writes. So I hope that explains the trim command. Do you have any other questions? Please comment. Thanks for watching.